Hi guys, welcome back to Rome Total War, the original playing as the Julii. Now last time we took Catias off the Armenians against some pretty heavy uh, Armenian spearmen. We also took Nepte down here. Um, we are having a few public order problems. Um, so I definitely noticed over here like all three of these <laughs> regions are having public order issues. So let's get a couple more peasants in each one. Okay, we are... 70 is fine, like 70... That The public order here at Mazika will be fine after that's built. It's probably got quite a bit of squalor. Uh, only 40%. I mean, that culture penalty will go away quite a bit of it once that governor's palace is uh, is changed. So, yes, we uh, should be fine at Mazika eventually in three turns. And then Sinop, we can just change the games down if we need to. Uh, now, a bit of housekeeping in terms of this series so uh, the remastered version of this game is coming out very soon like in nine days for when i'm recording this um so we're just going to go for the victory conditions um and we ha already have i noticed 50 regions uh, now the other victory conditions is we need to become the supreme role ruler of rome which we could probably do very easily looking at this they probably have a couple of armies in set up in ambushes here but we'll send a spy over to check uh, they also have this army. Um, experience, but it's old troops. So they shouldn't be too hard to deal with our urban cohorts. Look at the armor they have. It's ridiculous. We'll take them down pretty easily. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to continue our expansion as we go. Um, like We're going to move from Cordoba. We're going to keep on going to... Is that Tingi? I think it's called Tingi. Um, and over here... Uh, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep this army going east, um, maybe north to Armenia. We're gonna keep this army going round. However, the spare armies we have around here, we have two basically right now. Uh, we're gonna take this one from Salamis, and we're gonna bring them home. Um, and we're gonna, well, maybe not home. We'll bring them up north, up to here. We'll take this one, and then we'll jump across here, and we'll fight the Brutii out here. Uh, now they have an army there and they have a few armies over here, so we're going to have to be quite careful with that. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not too sure what we're going to do, but we've got to basically... We're going to try and kill the Romans first. We're going to try and kill the Romans before we take out the SPQR. Just, um, just for continuity's sake, we don't want other Romans hanging around. We don't want the victory conditions there while other Roman factions, you know, are existing. So the spare armies we have, we're going to send them across. And we're going to try and finish this reasonably quickly. That should also mean the episodes are a bit longer for you guys. So that might be quite good for you guys, depending on uh, what sort of length episode you like. So I've noticed the first thing we need to do is take Salamis here. And I'm guessing they will accept this, this fight. Yeah. yeah, it's because of their chariots as usual. Just normal chariots. So we found that getting a charge off on the chariots is quite effective. So that's what we're going to try and do um, with our huge amount of cavalry. Um, now, our troops, you know, I was hoping they'd be veteran troops by the time we start fighting all the Romans. But, you know, we only got the Marian reforms quite quickly. Let so let's listen the to these guys. For victory, and then let us arm ourselves to the teeth. Just in case the gods aren't listening. Those men are the servants of Pharaoh. They think themselves our equals, but I think they are dead meat. They have been brought to the battlefield by mewling infants instead of leaders. We outnumber them by a large margin, but this may drive them to foolhardy defiance. Be careful. They will undoubtedly skulk in the woods and hope to ambush some of us. Both armies have strong cavalry detachments. This will be a day for the noble horsemen to prove their worth. I want to see blood. I want to bathe in their blood. I want to bathe in their blood for a week. Now, kill them all! Cool. Um, I'm going to miss those speeches <laughs> playing any of the other Total War games, but we're going to be playing Remastered, so, you know, it's going to be the same. Um, Alright, 
let's get all these guys in position. Yeah, I am very hyped for the remaster. It looks good. It looks like it's been made um, pretty well. Looks pretty, um, pretty fun. So I am looking forward to uh, playing it. Um, definitely. The enemy have brought up more men. Why have they done that? Why have they? Hmm. Why have they done that? <laughs> well, let's get moving. Like we should be able to beat these guys just with our cavalry. I'm hoping, unless they all start routing. That. <laughs> I've said that. So this army has not got any veterancy really, like nothing. So it's going to be interesting trying to fight all the uh, fight all the uh, Roman factions without any veterancy and literally early. Uh, they are legionary cohorts, not early legionary ones, which is fine. But yeah, it's, yeah, it's going to be tough, but we should be able to beat them. We we have more military power. We have more money. And I think I'm going to recruit an army in Greece, probably. Maybe not like an, an absolutely elite army, but an army nonetheless that's pretty good. Um, that we can take north into those Brutii lands. Now the Scipii are really just, you know, they're kind of pointless. They have been terrible in this game. We've got 50 settlements, they have four. Uh, so really they have been completely and utterly pointless and useless in this whole game so I don't know what we're going to do <laughs> about that um, uh, let's keep these guys these two units charging both the Equiter units actually we should kill quite a few of those chariots on the charge yeah and they should break reasonably quickly the good thing about chariots is you like you don't need to kill them all, and you can still wipe out the armies because there's so few of them in terms of troop numbers. Um, yeah, the enemy, enemy general was running. Fear. Great. The enemy general is he's dead. And now his men fear us. Uh, we should it just be able to, to break the these guys just by having a number of enemies. Maybe. I just want to know what's going on over here. Yeah, they're, they're going to break here, yeah, wavering, before they've even touched our men. Yep, yeah, there we are. Nice. We need to wipe out these guys. How are we looking? Uh, okay, we're still doing okay. I would like to get my cavalry over here if we can. It looks like they're all dead. Nice. And uh, charge these guys. That should be them. Cleaned up very nicely. It looks like we've lost... Like more equities than anything else, honestly, which is fine because they're outdated anyway. I wonder whether chariots can still hurt your troops if they're fleeing, especially the scythe ones, like the Egyptian ones. Um, do we risk this? I think we do. Uh, I think we have to, honestly. Well, we don't have to. We could have just waited there forever, but. I think it would have charged towards our Cretans anyway. These javelins should hurt them quite severely. Oh, those chariots are already dead. Yeah, see, they're already broken just from the just from the javelins. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was hoping we were going to kill that guy. These guys should just break, honestly. Prefer you guys to not charge into them, just fire your javelins, but you know, if you if you do charge into them it's it's fine. Those camels are never gonna even keep up with cavalry. Keep, keep up with chariots, they are so slow. Uh yeah, I don't care about that anymore. Uh right, cool. So that was quite a good little battle. Enjoyed it. Cavalry spam once again wins. <laughs> Did lose like a hundred, which is kind of surprising. I'm guessing that's mainly the uh, the equites there. Victory! Salamis is ours.
So once this is good to go, we'll send these guys. We've got to exterminate all the settlements from now on. Uh, oh, we can only recruit auxilia here, so we can't retrain these guys. Um, I mean, that's fine. They'll get an upgrade to their armor, I think, because it looks like they've got an armory. Armory, yeah. Uh, where's their temple? The execution square, brilliant. These are really good. Extra law for us for free. Uh, trying to set, that's not fighting enemies, really. Uh, and let's, it looks like it doesn't matter how many units are in each unit, so how many people are in each unit, so we'll just retrain as many as we can. Cool. So, let's just have a look at the armies we've got. We've got that one. Right, let's start training one over here. Um, I'm not bothered about getting this to a huge city just yet. This guy's got archers, so we need four of those. We've got anywhere that's got good infantry. Still just early legionary. I mean, it makes sense I've not been upgrading the military sort of buildings here. Um, let's go five. Uh, let's go five. So that's ten, fourteen, and then five. Uh, five cavalry at Thermon, and then let's get a general over there if we can. Have we got a spare boat anywhere? So this... Ready. Where was this going? Okay, let's let's bring them around here and let's just send a, a general over that way. Young one, if we can. 21-year-old, good good attacker. Yep. Let's uh, walk you down this way. Five turns. I mean, it sh we should get there before five turns, which is good. Um, right. I think everything else is done. Do we want to leave here? Looks like we were going to replace these guys. I'm thinking maybe we just merge them. Yeah, because these are starty. Like, phew, we don't really need them anymore. Uh, right, let's see what we can do then here. So, Herius Victor's going to die soon. You might as well wait in there. We've got Theseus the Cruel, who's also reasonably old, but obviously the campaign's not going to go on for a huge amount longer, so... Um, Yep, you go in there. Got the archers. Do we want these archers? Not really. I'd prefer more infantry. Yep, let's get the cavalry. Then let's see how much we've got left. We've got four spaces left. Uh, get one of these guys. I'd prefer that than the uh, damaged one. Uh, okay, well we might as well take those archers then. Won't be too much of an issue. Uh, right, and let's get attacking Spain. We'll keep on recruiting here. Might as well. Because Spain will probably attack us. We've got a lot of auxilia there. I'm pretty sure we'll be okay, we'll, we'll be okay in terms of holding Spain back. Now, up here... Are we ready to take Londinium? Yes, we are. Awesome. Sorry if I'm playing quite quickly. This is just... You know, generally I, I would play this speed anyway. Um... I was playing by myself. Um, but yeah. So, you know, honestly, we'll probably wait here a turn. Wait for those guys to come down. We did send some troops back to retrain. Is this them? Yeah, he's getting retrained. And this guy's going to get retrained as well. We were sending these guys up to, to meet with them. That's only one. Um... Send you up as well. Cool. They should be there, ready to go very soon. Um, now, what to do with these guys? Once we've taken that, I'm sure the Germans will attack us. Um, but we really need one of these armies. These are two. You know, these are two reasonably good armies that we could do with down south. Um, but as long as we're still recruiting, yeah, as long as we're still recruiting over here and making a new army, that doesn't. Isn't a huge worry. Um, we should be fine. And we're recruiting one over here, which is good. Right, this Armenian, so this Armenian army. Let's go. Uh, let's see whether we can leave already. Two. Yeah, auxilia. What's that? Is that peasants? Oh, that's cavalry. 
Could we retrain our cavalry there? Let's have a see. Looks like we could. Um, do we take them this turn then? Yeah. Well, I'm not bothered about that. Once we've got one more peasant in there, it will be fine. So let's carry on. Now, all looking, they're all looking pretty healthy, so I don't really see the need to uh, retrain these guys. Let's go for Arctic Sarta. Looks like it's a minor city still, maybe? Hmm, not too sure. Right, Bostra. Uh, you guys, over to Parthia. It's, uh, there's still a sizable force there. Right, we need to keep on recruiting. Adrianry cohorts. We want a, like a proper army, honestly. Here, not just this. This is a rag. This this army is literally as ragtag as you can get it. It's just full of all the old units. We've got one, two, three, four, five of the new units. So we need to get more than that. Let's go with those guys. Let's get some legionary cohorts. Wow, Sidon is not happy. There we are. It's fine. Uh, Antioch. Ooh. It's a good little uh, recruitment area around here. So we've got cavalry going there. We've got infantry. We've got infantry. Let's go with some archers if we can. Do we have archers? Hmm. Some old ones. Those Roman archers are trash though. Just the normal Roman archers. Right. Let's take Bostra. This is a... Ooh, yeah. Honestly, we might send half of this back. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see after we've taken the city first. I'm assuming they have a few chariots in there, but luckily for us, chariots can't do shit inside settlements. I just don't know what to do. Men, we face adversity. Let's a listen. band of brothers dedicated to the warrior's code of strength and victory. But we will never know defeat while we stand together. This day we add another triumph to the history of our people. We will be honored as men. There stands the army of the Egyptian pharaoh, worthy foes to a man. This is their last city. Good. Their last rat hole to hide in. Let them cower behind their walls, but it will do them no good. We have not come this far to turn back now. Harden your hearts. Put them all to the sword. This is our moment of triumph. They have been lulled into a false sense of security by a few feet of defensive wall. As if that will protect them. We have a slight advantage in numbers. But no lives can be thrown away today. We cannot afford such profligacy. Until the enemy walls crumble, our brave horsemen can do little. Let us breach those walls and hunt down the enemy. Many times I have faced this enemy, and many times I have beaten them. Today, when we win, this victory will be yours as much as mine. Cool, is that it? So let your battle oh, no. cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today. Cool. Looks like that was it. Uh, nope, we definitely don't want these guys holding the rams. Uh, these are our good infantry. If anything, we want to preserve these guys. Like, there's no need to throw them into the battle when we've got these guys who can't even be retrained that can get thrown in. And also these equites that can't get retrained. Um, so we'll use them first along with the generals. Um, right, we have new archers as well, which should be put to good use here. Uh, these Bedouin camels are terrible. They will go in as well. Um, yeah, we don't really need... Um, to do all five of the things. I mean, once we're in here, I might send a few guys around the side. Which way would be quicker? I mean, it looks very similar, honestly. Um, you guys run. Looks very much like it's just Nubian spearmen everywhere. Oh, Niles. Oh, no. Nope. Nubians. Nubians. Peasants. 
Egyptian general, yep. It's a cavalry general, oh that's good. Uh, yeah, we'll send all the cavalry around one side. Honestly, if we could trap everyone in there, we could probably do an absolute crazy mass route. Um, oh, so much better having uh, long range missiles. <laughs> they, are, they do have long range missiles, right? These uh, auxilia. Uh, yeah, they do. Good. Like the other ones, like the short range missiles, like, well, they're not short range, but the, the archers without the long range missiles. Honestly, it feels like you have to get so close to the enemy that you can't even skirmish with them properly first. guys forward. Move you guys onto yeah. These guys will be in reserve, they'll wait. They they can be the pin. Don't really want to use the legionaries. Um they are legionary. Yeah the legionary cavalry not really too keen on that. Yeah. We can pin them in. Pin them in this hole. Send the cavalry around the side. Uh, yeah. fire, fire at the uh, Egyptian cavalry general. That's fine. I don't like taking down too many of them, <laughs> honestly. But we'll fire all our ammo. No one's going to, uh, they're not going to come out of their walls. They're just going to take the, uh, take the beating, I guess. How many have we killed with these guys? Oh, half of them. Nice. I thought we didn't have to kill that many. We actually killed half, which is good. They should be a lot easier to deal with now. Yeah, I think I think this. Uh, oh, there they are, nearly dead. I think this campaign will run hard and hard. So when we play on the uh, new one, this will surely make we'll play uh, on uh, very hard, very hard. 100%. Uh, there's these guys. Let's just wait for them to come around. We have a tiny bit of ammo left. Yeah, that's that's basically them all done. We've got one one little bit of experience. Good. Um, Archer, right, off you go. I don't want to deal with you guys anymore. Right, they do have uh, the phalanxes set up. You guys come in. You guys come in. Also, these Bedouins, like, I really don't care about you, so... Um, if you guys can fire over the walls, it'd be nice. Don't think you will be able to, though. Our soldiers have captured the walls. Now is the what time to press peasants. on and capture this place. Yeah, get the equites and everything in. Yeah, you guys are off. Good, 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 good. Yeah, already broken. I mean, I don't. Ah, Jesus, don't charge into the phalanx. Right, if we can get them to come around there. I'm hoping they don't think that way is quicker. <laughs> uh, we'll just pin here. Pin and hold, honestly. Until we've got the cavalry in place. There's no point doing anything else. Um, looks like our 21 man. <laughs> our 19 man, one of these. And uh, our Bedouins are just shredding them. They're crazy. <laughs> Five Bedouins. And 19 of these guys. Jesus. They have no morale. Also, yeah, it's noticeably different on this rather than uh, very hard. So we will be playing on very hard next uh, next time. Uh, I kind of don't want to charge with the cavalry if... Uh... No, 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 no. Where are you going? You're going completely the wrong way, you idiots. Let's get there. Yeah, that's the Bedouins gone. I mean, they got down to the last man. The last camel. God, uh, camels are trash in this game. It's like in, when you play Parthia, like the <laughs> the best the best uh, unit you can you can uh, recruit from your uh, cavalry uh, uh, cavalry thing is not the uh, not the elephants. You know the war armored war elephants. You know the last thing you get is uh, cataphract camels. <laughs> Which is literally just like, like, they're so pointless. They're useless. So slow. Oh, look at all the Numidians going. Right. Uh, not the Numidians, Nubian spearmen, sorry. If we charge this way. Oh, they're just literally going to break from uh, just seeing my cavalry, I think, at this point. 
If they do break, we should be able to run down quite a fair few of them, though. Yeah, I don't want to charge that head on, no matter how many <laughs> sort of uh, troops I'm not too bothered about losing. Um, once they get to like here, it might be okay, but we'll uh, we'll we'll rally with the uh, with the old general. Well, we won't we won't charge with him. Get the prince base Rick base around the side. They're wavering already. Yeah, they're gone. Run them down. And now let's walk through these guys. Um, yeah, you fire into the side there. Uh, walking through these guys hasn't. Oh, no, they're steady now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. let's get out then. Yeah, let's get out of there. I was thinking that that was going to uh, break them. Just walking into them because it does quite quite often, uh, but not this time it seems. Now we've just got a load of peasants to kill after this. Yeah, run these guys, run them down as much as you can. Uh, have we got anyone else we can use? Not really. Not a lot that I want to use anyway. Just, just break them, just break them, I don't really care. You should swarm them and break them, the pike formation won't work. Yep, there we are. Once we've got dealt with all the pikes, we should just be able to charge into those peasants and grind it out. Um, let's make sure the general's far behind the main charge. So I don't want him getting uh, murdered. It uh, should be uh, should be easy work for our cavalry. Very nice. There we are. Nice. Eighty nine versus nine hundred fifteen. Cool. I think our archers did the did a, did an absolute. Duty for us there, did amazing. It's, that should be that, that army turning rebel, so yeah. Uh, let's just exterminate. Let's get rid of that. Oh, come on, that back is... um, we don't have enough. Also, it looks like they hate us. Uh, he's got a bit of influence. Yes, spy. Got these two spies over here. Yes. Send you up north. No more hmm. Cool. Make sure we're recruiting the right people here. Good. Now this Jerusalem army. Amulius is old, but that's fine. Yeah, we're recruiting enough here, aren't we? Uh, Salamis. Uh, yeah. There we are. Do we have... We have one more siege to do, don't we, this turn? There's a lot being <laughs> done in this, this turn. We've taken a lot of settlements. Yeah, we have the light chariots. Good job we've got these archers again. They will really deal with these chosen swords. See, they only have eight armor. How does that compare to our, our legionary cohorts? I can't see. Um. General! Yeah, the, the legionary cohorts basically have the same, but they have better attack, I'm pretty sure. It was like 10 and 18, I think. Uh, what's this? 14. So yeah, they are better in melee, but... You know, if we can whittle them down... You know, fire the peeler at them, they should be screwed. So... Uh, do they have... Did they have people coming in from the back that I, I didn't even honestly check? I should have... <laughs> I should have done... <laughs> Um, also, we want to check the Senate standing, see whether they like you know us or not. Me. See whether the people still I'm absolutely love us. Roman of the old style. I believe in discipline, dignity, and duty. I believe that Rome has a destiny to rule the world. I also believe that we have a destiny, a destiny that starts afresh here. Today we go into battle against the Britons. Men both mad and brave in equal measure. They 
think their walls are enough to stop us. They should think again. We outnumber them comfortably, but that should not be seen as an excuse not to fight hard. Why let your brother carry your burden? Our cavalry are brave and noble, but they cannot help us until we are within the walls. I have never yet lost a fight against these men. I have no intention of starting today. So together, we will gain another victory. Today, we make our own fates. The omens may say that we face disaster, but I choose to think differently. Can any true man do otherwise? Now, take up the sword, string your bow, look to your arms and armor. Now comes the hour when we test Roman courage! Yeah, cool. Um, I mean, if it if there are, is a uh, reinforcements, they should be coming from behind us. He also said nothing about it, so I'm guessing that they were too far away. Um, yeah, this is a nice area because there's no towers, so they've got the terrible walls. Um, yeah, we'll get these guys in. We'll just get three breaches this time. We don't really need to like properly finesse it uh, when got these guys and they've got chariots like the chariots is their main weapon here but they can't do they can't do anything about them like in the city because of the pathfinding's too bad so uh yeah so King Arach might be able to fire from there but um actually we don't want you to fire at will I want you to come and fire at these uh British light chariots yeah they don't have they don't have reinforcements that's good. I mean, if if we, if they did, I would just take the uh, cavalry uh, cavalry spam and start shooting them. Uh, start hitting them. Yeah, brilliant. I wonder how many hit points these guys have. We've seen chariots with five hit points. They have two. I don't. I can't remember how. I think the scythe chariots only have two as well. The um, seleucid ones. Um, yeah. They, they were gone a long time ago now. These British light chariots can fire, but... I wish we could uh, form Testudo while you were like taking the ram. Isn't that the whole point of Testudo? Like, why? <laughs> like, when else would you use Testudo? Like, you want to take... You want Testudo when you're going up to, like, siege uh, siege settlement. But, I guess they, they can't do that. That's... that's the God, God be praised! Enemy Fire at this guy. Fear makes if a we can. In our enemy's hearts. Might be uh, reasonably tough. Our Looks like they can. Uh... The with a battering ram. Uh, we could make them go amok, but them running amok. Oh, they are heavy chariots. So let's try it. Try a couple of rounds on the uh, on the old flaming shot. It's not going to make a huge difference. I don't think they're going to go done their work So well. let's go the back to normal. Has broken through the gate. And we'll just fire at will now if we can. I want to fire at these chosen swordsmen a little bit. <laughs> oh yes, we're firing javelins at the chariots. Brilliant. That should really hurt them. Uh, the rest of the blokes, are today. they chosen swordsmen the over there as well? Broken. No, that's our just warband. Ordered forward. Uh, right, we need our troops. Let's bring the troops forward. Let's bring our cavalry forwards. We can swarm kill these guys, I think. Uh, just like usual. <laughs> the usual tactic. Uh, right, you two, I want you to set up like here, if you can. Looks like you've used your ammunition, one of them. You haven't? We'll bring you here. Those chosen swordsmen should be getting shot very soon. They've got eight armor. So we should be able to break through it reasonably well. Um, yep, yeah, just go there. Okay, we've killed quite a few of them. They should be quite evenly matched. Um, we will keep keep firing at them. Send you in. 
send you as backup. You should be able to destroy that warband. Wow, I think we're going to take quite a few uh, casualties here. Especially against the Chosen Swordsman, they look like they're doing quite a good job. 53 versus 46, we're still outnumbering them. They are cutting through them. I think the main thing is the fact that it's... Um... No, 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 don't fire at them, just, 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 just kill them. Get around the side. Good job we were fighting Warband there. If they were fighting two Chosen Swordsmen against that guy, we'd probably be in a bit of trouble, honestly. Uh, right, you guys, I want you to run over here. Get there. What's this? Yeah, the Warbands are going to be easy to deal with. Who else have we got to deal with now? Because it, it, I think it'll just be Warband. Yeah. Like, I, I'm at the point now we could just, <laughs> just right click up there and oh, we should all be good. Where are the archers going? Charge. Oof. Nice little uh, peeler. Peeler shots off there. Um, right, cavalry. Want you to come around this way. Just get in there, yeah. Yeah, I want you to charge them down. I want you guys to come up to here. Apart from you, we'll bring these guys up this way. I want you to please just catch up with them. I want you to run, like, just run them down because it's annoying having to deal with more of them when they get to the town center. Yeah, I don't think they're going to catch, are they? Yeah, the warband are too lightly, uh, lightly armored. Just go there. Yeah, I've got to be kind of careful because they are just spearmen now. Uh, but if we can engage them from... Oh, they've got swordsmen as well. The swordsmen should be easy to deal with with the cavalry. Uh, yeah, they should start getting pummeled very soon. By the archers. Yep. Ready for this volley. Oh, they're missing quite a bit. <laughs> They've missed a lot of shots there. You come in, you guys run up here. Uh, you come up to here. Protect them. We'll also bring you. We'll bring them all. So these guys can fit like here. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think they can. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, you guys go there. We should be able to fire quite nicely into the into that body of men there. Um, all these cavalry. I'm not sure where they're all going to go because they don't know how to path, so I might have to do that with a couple of them. Actually, don't do that. Do like a fat one. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, cool. It's going fine. Going well. Let's get our archers to fire into the... Fire into that body there. Uh, charge him. Just charge him. I want them. I prefer them to be firing across there. Um, but you know, what can you do? Fire at the warband. Yeah, this should be a nice little. Uh, little position for our archers to just fire. Very nice. Any of them charge towards our cavalry will just charge them and should break them quite easily. Yeah, breaking them easily. Just a case of waiting them out. I, I could just charge in, but it'll just be a grind fest. I prefer to use all the arrow, uh, arrows while we have while we have them while we're using them. What's the point of not using them? The yeah, God. There we are. Oh, if I just charged in, they wouldn't have broken either. So we probably would have, you know, taken quite a considerable bit more ca casualties than that. Yeah, I'm surprised they didn't join. They look like they're close enough. Um, I don't know. 
Exterminate. It's a minor city. What's uh, this? Yep. Britannia can be gone. Jupiter. What can we recruit here? Yep. Everything we have apart from the archers. We didn't lose any archers though, so that's good. So let's try and get experience around. Uh, nope. Doesn't look like there is any experience we can spread from the, for the cavalry anyway. Um, now it looks like there's an armor upgrade in here as well. Potentially for these guys. Well, these guys, yeah. Cool. Uh, any experience for you guys? Doesn't look like it. Let's go with that. That. And that. And then we'll retrain those two. Surprised it didn't create any experience there, honestly. Um, we need one more unit. And then a peasant. Yeah, we, yeah, we've, we've destroyed, we've destroyed Egypt. Good, that's another, another nation destroyed. Hmm. And uh, yeah, I think we'll wait for reinforcements here, like we said. So that might be the end of the turn. <laughs> it's been a busy turn. It's been a busy turn. Um, but yeah, how are we doing on these public order places? Let's make sure we're building everywhere. Suggest a no. Uh, suggest a cut. No. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I am very excited for the uh, remaster. Just all the new graphics, everything. Just the ability for it to move smoother. So, like, the big thing when you come back and play this is the controls. And moving your troops around and stuff. Um, so, it's just a lot less user-friendly and a lot harder than it is in all the other Total War games. Um, okay, we don't have enough troops for that. Right, well... Screw Bostra. Can we leave? Um, I wonder. General, General. Marcus Mark. Aurelius. No, there's no there's no General. units that we can Mark. hire there. Uh, we might leave some of these old troops behind, but we'll see. Uh, also, Salamis. Yeah, we're doing fine. That's just all been one turn, so yeah. But yeah, the big thing I'm kind of looking forward to is... Um... Well, that's good. Where are you going to go? Oh, down in Cordoba. I wouldn't need to take York. Uh, no. Yeah, the big thing I'm looking forward to is the modding ability. So they've opened it up so that you can have more than whatever amount of uh, factions they have in the game. Now, I can't remember what it is. Is it like 20 or something like that? They could only have that before. So think about Europa Barbarorum or Romus Erectus or something like that where it's got like, you know, 50 factions or something like that. It'd be so much better. Um, oh, another coming of age. Canaius. Uh, yeah, he's rubbish. He's probably making... He's sober. Hmm. He's a good builder. A minus one from Squalor. That's actually good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, still recruiting everywhere. <laughs> and we don't... We're not incredibly rich as well right now. Uh, no, we'll build a watchtower up here Onward. away from the road. No more moves, sir. Build tower. But we are, you know, we're, 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 well, we're pretty rich, but we're not, you know, properly, properly rich just yet. Uh, right. Let's see what we can do. Forward. Now there are mercenaries and they are Impact. shitty camels. So Forward. I'm happy to leave them behind. Yep, 54 is enough. March. Combining troops. Uh, right. March. No more moves, sir. So, I think we're going to take best of both worlds sort of thing. We're going to make like a little sort of hybrid army and then we're going to make sir. we're going to take the shitty troops up to the north to fight uh, Armenia. Um, fighting Parthia is something that <laughs> we could do. It's not really high on my priority list because of all their horse archers it's gonna be tough um, so I think Armenia at first and then you know if we're still around at that point we'll uh, uh, we'll start fighting Parthia uh, yeah we're getting good good recruitment down there uh, you we need to go get retrained yep. retrain all these guys need to get retrained as well um, yeah, we're still recruiting, recruiting. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Right, what are we going to build here? 
not really. Jupiter's probably not the best option. Did we... Do we have a military one? Because I thought I was going to do that in the capital. No, it's population growth and, yeah, it's law, so... There is no military. Yeah, there's no military one uh, with the uh, Julii. Now, the Scipii have a really good, really good one where it gives you extra experience and all that sort of stuff. So, this guy's great, actually. Cool guy. Right. Decius the Angry. See how angry you really are, Decius. I'm hoping his general speech is going to be good. <laughs> it should be. Seen as he's known as Decius the Angry. <laughs> uh, cool. Right, Londinium. Recruited one of those guys. Let's go for that. If I. Like, this guy doesn't have a huge amount of influence, so it looks like we should be able to leave. Uh, yeah, we'll recruit one of those. Maybe two. Hmm. Yeah, it's on 70. Good. What's this? Slingers and Warband. Our uh, guys should be able to hold off against that, especially with towers. So let's go after York. Right. How come you walked all the way around that way? I think we'll go stand on here. What's going on here? 65 again. Just take that. That should be enough to keep it, keep it happy. How about Trier? Two peasants enough? Yes. Very much so. Um, I'd like to go stand on there. What do they have? Not good. Nothing good apart from the general's bodyguards. Got two experience. Two silver experience. So they'll be kind of tough. Oh, not Warband. Him. Yeah. 19 attack. Oof, that's good. Wait, how much hit points was these guys? Five. Yeah, five for them. Um, that's fine. Should be okay. Uh, right. Let's see. What did we want to build here? Yeah, we'll do all the building at the end. Um, let's move the armies first. So here we've got four archers, four cavalry. We're going to have six cavalry altogether. So that's 10, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Plus a general 19. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking good for another army. Uh, these guys will, will sort themselves out next turn. Now, guys at Salamis. Can we go? Yeah, we can. Great. Both getting... Uh, Lentulus isn't that old, but Vettius is uh, getting reasonably old. Um, so that's one navy. Where's the navy that we dropped? Oh, okay, it's here. Out of mood, sir. Yeah, we'll get them on there and we will send them... Hmm. Where are we going to send these guys? I did say I was going to send them up to here. That's probably a good option because it's going to take a while to get there. And by the time they get there, we should have a new army recruited out this way. Aye, Captain. Yes, Captain. Uh, you also need sir. to keep coming down. Move out. Should be able to pick him up next time. Great. Uh, we'll have another army here. At least one. Which is awesome. These guys keep on coming. Ah, so we did have... Well, we got extra, extra troops. That's fine. That'll just serve to replenish these guys. Which, honestly, is a good thing. Uh, Dinium, not too happy, but should be fine. Now... Did we siege it this turn? Yeah, it's got so <laughs> going through the turns so uh, so slowly that it's kind of like can't remember what's been done on each turn. Um, so yeah, last thing we need to do this turn is that. Oh, that's going to be annoying siege. Let's see whether we. Yeah. Oh God, cataphractic archers. Hmm. How long will it take? Seven. That's too long. They do only have this, which is looks shit, uh, and Hatra, which is also shit. Um, so that should be okay. Is that everything? Because that's not that much. I'm still recruiting everything around here. Yeah, it looks like it. Cool. 
We were going to take this, uh, but I think that's when this army's been done. Then we'll send them across to maybe the Scipii. So, that should be fine. Oh yeah, you. Oh no, you're good. You're good. Uh, <laughs> so many armies going about now, it's like, what? where, where is each one? Uh, right, let's do the construction and then we should be able to end the turn. I think. Eretium. What do we want here? Hmm. Public order's good. Probably want to reduce the population, so let's get that. Let's go with... I mean, we don't need more money. I mean, maybe. We're actually kind of stagnating on money right now, so... Maybe getting monetary stuff is actually a good idea. Do we have an army here? Who took that? Was it these guys? I think so. It's so long ago now. Um, Carthage. Let's go with... Let's go with roads. Let's keep getting that money up. Thapsus. Highways. Larissa. That. Cool. No, actually not that. Um, no. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that. Just, just in case. They have a lot of troops out here. So... Make it easier to defend if they do attack. Whittle their numbers down quite a bit. Uh, right, money. Hmm. Money. No. Money. Ooh. No. <laughs> More money. <laughs> um, a lot of building's been done this turn. Narbo. Uh, Narbo. Get that. Keep them happy. Cyrene. That's money and growth. Yeah, let's do that. Nicomedia. Money. Snope. They need happiness. It doesn't look like there's anything that can provide them with any more happiness. Got the temple to Jupiter. Apart from more games. Oh, God, this is going to be a tough one to, to look after. Let's get a couple more. What's the garrison bonus on? Oh, yeah, the garrison bonus is only 10%. So... Um, yeah. Well, we don't want to boost the population with that. We don't want to make it quicker. So, let's go for the market. Oh, does the market... Uh, oh, well. I think the market... The f does the first market do it, though? I, I can't remember. Uh, Palmyra. Thebes. My god, Thebes doesn't even have a trader. That's poor. <laughs> There we are. Antioch. Um, money. Sidon. Happiness. Yeah, because they're, they're losing happiness. Uh, Salamis. More happiness. Bostra. I assume we can't build. Yeah, Londinium. More happiness. Yep. Yeah, cool. That's it. Looks like that's it. House of Julia in Spain, yep. Yeah. yeah, cool. Be interesting if the other Roman factions actually just declared war on me to start with. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, God, Do Dover's such an annoying settlement. Even with a even with a, a governor in here, they hate it. Yeah, we're up to 65 there. There's nothing that's one turn. That Jupiter should give an extra 10%. I think getting that peasant in there will be okay, and then we'll be able to do it. Yeah, you're good, but I don't know where you've gone. Okay, probably because we have so many <laughs> at this point. Yeah, we'll deal with that in a sec. Faction announcements. Oh, oh, no, both my spies died. That's annoying. <laughs> now we can't see them coming. Uh, can we get spies here? No. Petra, maybe. Let's get four. Also, let's build... That. Uh, no, let's not. Let's build highways. Money. Uh, earthquake. Arabia. Oh, that's what's killed them. Okay. Carthage's been destroyed. Wait. 
Where was that last? Oh, Lily by him. Wow, Skippy Eye. <laughs> you are an absolute beast. <laughs> He's got to the fourth settlement. Oh, yeah, they didn't even have four settlements before. They had three. <laughs> they are poor. Poor, poor Romans compared to us. I was going to see what these armies... They still have Princapes in their armies and stuff. Admittedly, so do I, but... You know, in my far out army is a long way away. Uh, right. Oh, we have to go all the way around that way? Jesus. Did not know that. I thought we would be able to uh, go the other way. Right. You guys keep coming. Uh, get there at least. Right, let's move on. Uh, Barracom. Besieging settlement, sir. Cool. Settlement this is a this is a top quality army here. Like it's just so nicely set up. I like it. Now they don't have much experience, uh, but that'd be fine. Yeah, we can take Scalabus. That's going to be safe for next episode, though. Um, so I think, yeah. Right. We just need to sort the armies out. Order. Right, Nero, you come down. Right, first of all, let's go here. And let's get... Who do we want to lead? Nero is very good for his age. He's 43 and he's a conqueror. He's not going to die by the end of this campaign, I'm pretty sure. Right, we want all the good infantry we can. Do we have good archers or not? Yes, we do. Let's just get them in there just so I know what's going on. And how much cavalry. we got two legionary cavalries. I'm just trying to get a full stack of all the new stuff. Uh, two Roman cavalries. Now we've got four more slots, and I'm thinking we fill it with that. Probably the best option. Oh no, this guy first. Right, this army ready to go. Um, where's this? Yeah, why didn't I bring these guys last turn? I just didn't think about it. Um, Ready. Ready. Right. Let's get up round this way. Aye, aye, what we've been blocked by. Nothing. Set sail. Okay. Set sail. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, yep. You can stay there. So this is a nice little army we've got. We're not a huge amount of cavalry in it. But now let's see what Imperator. we can do here. Right. We've got the generals. If we're going to go up against Parthia later, we want more and more cavalry from these guys. So we have some cavalry ready, and some of those. So that's two archers, two cavalry, and two infantry. So we've got six, two of each. So we can afford to leave six behind. Want this, definitely. Honestly, we'll have three more as well. If we uh, recruit them, let's go with the archers, uh, cavalry, and over here, yeah, we'll get more archers. So, yeah, we'll have nine spaces, so we need 11 right now. Um, yeah, we might as well merge these guys if we can. Yeah, there we are. So, we will have four archers, so we don't need to worry about these guys. Now we need infantry. Uh, one full infantry. These cavalry. Oh, God, this is kind of scraps right now. Yeah, we need one more, and then we got nine spaces, I think. Yeah, we might as well take those. They're, they're a full unit. Uh, right, let's go join up with those guys, and we'll move on to Hatra. Cool. Uh, how are we looking over here? Just about keeping the public order. Orders. What's that? That's just a general. Yeah, I don't think... Oh, that's going to be horrible. Look how many missile troops they have. We have about the same, but on this difficulty as well. Missile attack 10. Yeah. Look at their armor, 19. I think we wait. Honestly, on that, because we can wait until we attack them from the from the uh, the back as well. That'll be fine. Right, Manius. 
Manius has a good army for what he's actually dealing with, which I, I should have probably maybe never, probably not filled it with Praetorians because it is kind of a waste, um, but it's fine. Right, British guys, they've all moved. Yep, awesome. Cool. Well, I think we'll do the building. Oh, you're not you're not recruiting at all. We can be recruiting more, uh, more cavalry or something. Thinking. Mm, yeah, might as well. Like, even if it's not used, it'll be fine. Um, let's do the construction, and then we'll probably end the episode there, guys. So, there's also just to let you know, there's um, yeah, let's do that to keep them happy. Um, there's a poll on my community tab on YouTube uh, where that you can find place to vote for who you think uh, you sh I should play in the remaster as soon as uh, as soon as the remaster's out so I'm going to be playing one Roman faction and one non-Roman faction so obviously we're not going to be playing Julii again because we've we've just done that so it's between the Brutii and the Scipii I mean I would lean towards the Scipii just because of their temples their temples are definitely better but if you think I should play Brutii completely fine go and uh, go and vote on that um, and then the other option is for a non-Roman faction, and I wanted to play something that's kind of, that plays a lot differently to Rome. So uh, we've gone Scythia, Parth. Uh, no, not Scythia. We got Parthia, Seleucids. Um, uh, let's think. It's Carthage, and I think the other ones like. Um, Britain or something. So yeah, just go and vote on that if you want to see me play, you know, sort of horse archers. Horse archers is one of the most efficient ways of playing the game, honestly. It's it's definitely one of the best. Um, but again, you know, the battles become quite samey, but I guess the battles in this are always quite samey, depending on who you're fighting, you know. You know, there's quite a big variation in who you're fighting, but depending on your style of army you have. Um, you know, you might you might fight completely differently, but if you have the same style of army against everyone, if you're fighting completely different enemies, then you know it, they can get quite samey, but it, it is fine. Um, but yeah, it is really fun to play as the uh, play with the uh, horse archers. They are they are sick. They are really good. Uh, if they hadn't broken that, it would be the public order would be fine. But. Oh well, it's going to get repaired anyway. Uh, Jerusalem needs to be happier. Get that. We've got races there, but without having to, like, not turning on the races is always better. That will provide a bit of public order. Uh, Guntia come. What are we going to do here? Yep, keep them happy. Petra. Yep, we're going for the highways. Trier. Let's get that. And Catias. Uh, ooh, what should we go for here? Probably that. Yeah, that's good. This is also a good barrier point to fight to not fight the Scythians. You know, their nearest settlements there. It'll take them a while to get there. Um, so, oh, are we allied or something? Yeah, we are. So they shouldn't attack us, which would be good. So uh, that should be the end of this episode, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And hopefully you'll join me on the next one. And then you'll join me when we're playing Remastered. So thank you, guys. And I should see you again on the next episode.